Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel once again today. Today is December the 9th of 2021. I would like to share with you another word the Lord has given me, and my hope is that you will be encouraged by it, that you will see things from His perspective and recognize that the Lord has not left us nor forsaken us in the days that we live in, that he, in fact, is working out his plan, working toward his end solution. And in that, I would like to add, it may not come the way we would expect or want. We all want to experience freedom, and especially our constitutional freedoms. We don't want to be in bondage to tyranny. And this is justifiable because Jesus came to bring us into freedom, to set the captives free, to deliver us out of bondage, out of oppression, so that we might experience the fullness of life in him. And so this word today, I know will encourage you to know that the Lord is on the move to bring us into liberty. Although the liberties that we are concerned about at this time from a political standpoint are important, there are other freedoms that are just as important. And those are the ones related to the religious systems of our day. When power is in the hands of wicked men, it results in bondage. And so even in the religious system that seeks to cancel out our freedoms in Christ needs to be dealt with. The word I have for you today will assure you that the Lord sees it all. Wherever it is, he knows who truly belongs to him and who are masquerading, those who are imposters, who have moved in and seized the freedom of his people. This word is titled, A Great Exodus, because the Lord is taking us out of bondage and bringing us into liberty. I'll begin by reading scripture. Daniel 2, verse 44. And in the days of those kings, the God of heaven will set up a kingdom that shall never be destroyed, nor shall the kingdom be left to another people. It shall break in pieces all these kingdoms and bring them to an end, and it shall stand forever. This scripture assures us that one day all the kingdoms of the earth will submit to the authority of Jesus Christ. John 10 verses 1 through 5. I am the good shepherd, the good shepherd gives his life for the sheep, but a hireling, he who is not the shepherd, one who does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and flees. And the wolf catches the sheep and scatters them. The hireling flees because he is a hireling and does not care about the sheep. I am the good shepherd and I know my sheep and am known by my own. As the Father knows me, even so I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. In this scripture, Jesus is telling us that he is the true shepherd, the one who cares for the people, and he compares himself to the hireling, the one who may be functioning in a position of authority, and yet is not in it for the right reasons. 2 Corinthians 11 verses 13 through 15 For such men are false apostles, deceitful workmen, disguising themselves as apostles of Christ. And no wonder, for even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. So it is no surprise if his servants also disguise themselves as servants of righteousness. 
their end will correspond to their deeds. This scripture clarifies to us that yes, indeed, there are workers of iniquity who have moved into positions of authority, whether it's in government or business or in the church structure, masquerading as though they are someone who they truly are not. I'll begin reading the word. I am taking down the hierarchy that has been at work, says the Lord. I shall bombard it from within. I shall make a point of its collapse and make it known to all in the house that I am not in favor of the antics used to keep my people in bondage. I will destroy it from an angle not anticipated, for those who use trickery have all the bases covered, yet I am able to uncover those things that are hidden, and I choose to unravel the tangled web that has been woven. I am able to find the string to pull that will unravel the foul play of men. Already I have undermined the authority of the wicked and have begun to break apart the web of lies that has been woven. I am able to dethrone kings and to take down the high places. I am able to open the eyes of the blind to see all that is taking place. I am calling out those who have ears to hear. I am calling them out of the web built by men. I am disentangling them from its hold upon them and giving them a glimpse of where I would want to take them. They will get a look at freedom and no longer submit to the anarchist. I will give them a taste of joy and never again will they be content to put themselves into the hands of wicked men. I will give detail of what I am doing, of how I am calling these out of the hands of men and into the freedom of Christ and into intimacy with the Lord their God. I will cause the winds of adversity to blow apart the buildings of men. I will pour out my discipline upon those who have submitted to the hirelings and correct them till they see clearly that they have been held captive by the wicked and perverse religious zealots. This is the day when I shall come in power to dismantle the hierarchy of men and to build up the ancient ruins and to put into place my principles, says the Lord. My kingdom shall extend from sea to sea and it shall reign unchallenged. This is the day of renewal, for I shall renew the minds of those who put their trust in me. This is the day when I shall build my kingdom in the hearts of men. There will be no turning back, no going back to the vomit. For I am raising up the generation holy and acceptable to me. And this is the beginning of what I am doing, says the Lord. All that which men have put their trust in shall be demolished in this day. For this is the third day, and the temples of men shall be utterly destroyed with nothing left standing. This is the day when I shall come in fury, so get ready. Be prepared for what you are going to see in your midst. Those pulpits supplied by men will be removed, for I shall burn up their pedestals and ignite their platforms with my fire. Old buildings will come crashing down, says the Lord. Unknown to men is coming the day of my wrath towards those who put themselves into positions of authority that I have not given. You will see their structures come to ruin right in your midst. I have not given a format for worship according to the wisdom of men. I have not ordained the organization of the church as it is seen today. How far off base it has become. I will not tolerate the impostors. I will not sit idly by and allow pulpits to be filled with the ungodly. Religious men who hold power over the people 
to keep them in submission. I have never ordained the structures of men, but I have given my heart to those who truly seek me, says the Lord, and they shall come into unity by the power of my spirit, for I shall call them forth out of the ruins and into life and liberty in my spirit. Today is a day of a great deliverance from the land of Pharaoh and into the promises of God. Pardon and grace will be given to those who seek me with all their heart, and there will be a demarcation between the righteous and the wicked. For I have come to set men free from the entanglements of worldliness and to bring them into the liberty of Christ. I am on the move to take down the hierarchy of men and to institute my government in the earth, says the Lord. Go and do the works I have called you to, for I am aligning you with my purposes and instruction. Buy gold without cost. Come unto me, and I will give you rest. Come unto me, and I will usher you out of bondage and into liberty. Give me your heart, and I will move you into place in my end-time plan to bring the nations into submission at my feet. For in my kingdom the first shall be last, and the last shall be first. So come and let me make you into my image, so that I can use you. This is the mandate upon the lives of those who faithfully follow me. I will make them fishers of men. I will increase their ability to reign and rule with me in heavenly places. This is the call upon the lives of those who have ears to hear what the Spirit is saying. This is the way that I am leading in this day, says the Lord. I am taking the foolish things of the world to shame the wise and making a display of my splendor throughout the earth. This is the day of a great upheaval in the lives of those who put their trust in the institutions of men. For I shall come with fervor to overthrow the money changers, the evil ones who masquerade as if of me. This is the day when I shall come with power to overthrow the power of men and establish the rule of heaven in the earth. This is a day when I shall come with might to set the prisoners free. And this is the day of joy and gladness for those who come out from under the wiles of the enemy and into freedom and liberty in Christ. The Lord is coming to establish his government in the earth. And we know that the world and the kingdom of God do not mix their principles are at odds with each other. And so in order for us to see a shift in society that will overthrow the wicked in high places, in positions of authority, those that are dictating policy that is oppressive, the Lord must deal with wickedness even in the religious system because many are caught within it and unable to function in the freedom that we have in Christ. The Lord is doing a good work. He is taking down the high places and setting his people free from their anarchy. So be encouraged that we will see the manifestation of these things as the Lord exposes imposters and brings us out from under their control, just as the Lord did through Moses to deliver the people from Pharaoh. This is a day of joy and victory. Let's keep our eyes on Jesus, and let's keep our hearts anticipating great things ahead. Thank you for listening today, and may the Lord bless you and encourage you May he cause his face to shine upon you, and may he give you his peace. Be blessed of him, in Jesus' name. We'll talk to you again the next time. Bye for now.